Hey everybody, welcome back. This is N-E-W-R, or maybe anywhere is how you actually say it, but this game I'm not too sure about. It kind of looks like it uses Google Maps, and you're able to check out all kinds of different locations and things like that. Um, I am very, very interested in it uh, because it lets you choose different continents here, and I really think that this game could be uh, very educational um, or used in a classroom or something of that nature. Uh, pretty sure it just lets you fly around and check out areas and scenery and kind of kind of like maybe Google Maps does or uh, or Google Earth. Uh, I think that's kind of the gist of what it is. And uh, Wow, this is pretty pretty wild. Uh, wow, very very cool. Let's let's look at some landmarks and monuments here. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the Statue of Liberty. Wow. Okay, so it pretty much three D renders everything for you, and you can basically uh, take a look at environments and kind of walk around up close. And, and see exactly what they are uh, from a 3D view. And it's actually very, very impressive. As you can see here, uh, we're looking at the Statue of Liberty. Very interesting. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I am a little impressed with exactly how it looks and... Uh, you know, it, it could use some polishing up, that's for sure, as far as the images go. Uh, but it's it's not too bad at all. Uh, I could 100% see this being used as an educational tool uh, for people that can't go everywhere all the time. And you could definitely see you're able to, to look out into the bay and, and see boats out there and all those cool things that go with it very very impressive um i just kind of wish the the models were a little bit uh more detailed um I, I, you know it, it google earth uh tends to be a little bit more crisp uh when you're looking at this uh but it's it's not bad at all i'm i'm definitely impressed with how this looks and you can check out numerous cities and and things like that and and points of interest which is really really cool i like that quite a bit so let's go ahead and see if we can't check out a another location all right so we're going to check out las vegas next here and we'll kind of see how that goes very very interesting i love how the loading screen is like a plane taking you to your destination that's kind of cool all right, and here we are in Las Vegas. Uh, so we could check out uh, some scenic views. We got the high roller. Let's see the the. Let's see the strip. We'll check out the strip here. You can see how it loads in, and uh, I actually went here, the MGM Grand here for my bachelor party, which was really really cool and and very very awesome let's go ahead and check out some of the settings here uh we got smooth turning definitely like that we'll can we turn up the fly speed yes we'll turn up the fly speed a little bit and the up and down and that way yeah there we go so then we can really really look at this and see uh well it might be too fast but we do got plenty of settings here which is great We can definitely see, wow, you can really follow the strip all the way down, the MGM Grand. Like I said, I was there for a bachelor party, and it definitely looks just like this. So whatever imaging they're pulling off of, I believe it's Google Earth, uh, looks absolutely fantastic. I remember you know, walking across the street and seeing all this, and uh, we can even go down to the, to the actual strip itself and see everything uh as it renders 
Now, the rendering, like I said, is definitely a little slow here. We got CVS, so if we need to get our medicine, that's real cool. Oh, man, really, really interesting. Um, I, this could definitely be used as a fantastic uh, educational tool. I believe these are the ponds over here. Very, very cool. It's... And you can pretty much go anywhere you want to. We'll go to the Bellagio Fountains next here. See what that looks like. Very, very cool. Got the baseball stadium right here. We can pretty much practically go in. Really, really nice. I, I just love how you can, you can really look at all kinds of different things. Uh, let's go to the Shark Reef. Very cool. Yeah, so I, I think this game is definitely a good little uh, start to uh, exploring all kinds of different places and scenic views in places that you may or may not be able to go. Um, I think it would be very, very interesting to go check out the other countries and uh, kind of see all the different things uh, that are around um the world and if you could really add in uh you know just a little bit of everything that would be fantastic uh let's see let's go to japan real quick check out tokyo uh it, it's very interesting to me how you're able to load in the map like that and kind of just fly around so i definitely think it's uh very very educational I love that you have the settings where you can choose how fast you're going to go, you know, flying and turning and things like that. And uh, it, very, very, very interesting. How you're just really able to, to just look at all the fantastic sights and uh, all the scenery that you can. And it just makes you feel like you got a bird's eye view of everything. And uh, going to look up the uh, pretty much anything you want as far as uh, just places to visit. You know, there's there's all kinds of things. We'll go check out London, and uh, it's it's very cool how you're able just to select all these different places and see them. I mean, you could probably spend hours flying around. Uh, and just looking at all the different types of historical places. And I think this is totally going to be able to be used in a classroom setting. Um, it's just very, very interesting to me uh, how beautiful it looks. Um, you know, I would like to see a little bit more higher detail, uh, but it really does give you the sense of being within that location and area and you could spot things in the distance, which is really cool. Um, I definitely like that. It's It just gives you this bird's eye view of, of looking over uh, some of the most historical places in the world and locations. And I really, really like that. And to a teacher, uh, this could be an invaluable tool. I mean, you could you know take your class on field trips, basically, without leaving the classroom as long as everybody had a headset. And uh, I think that's very interesting, and I think it's a piece of technology that uh, we aren't really utilizing yet in the classroom, and I think this would be a stepping stone to uh, that technology, uh, information, and educational purposes with the, the headsets. So it's very interesting, and I like it quite a bit. So... As always, if you like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, check out all the links in the description below, make sure you download this, check it out, fly and check out some of your most historical places, let me know what your favorites are below in the comments, and uh, I'll have to check them out. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.